It's William Hale is the fourth official, and we are underway along with Hayden Partain and our entire crew. I'm Dan Weiss. Thanks for joining us here this evening on Bally Sports. Temperature tonight at kickoff, 97 degrees below 100. And a club that says 3, 13, and 4 when you think of the quality of players as SAFC goes quickly off the reset. Hernandez in the box and, oh, a big time save from Joe Rice on Tani Olawashi, punching that out with the right hand. I wonder if he could have taken a touch right before this shot. He had so much time, but it's a great save at the end. That's, a, that's an injured Robin Lappard who's slow to get back up. Meanwhile, first shot directly on comes from Prince Sadie here for Hartford as Jordan Farr gets rid of it quickly. Tani Olawashi able to run that one down in stride. Antonio does not score. The longer the result of this match kind of lingers a little bit. Juan Pablo Torres into the box. That's dangerous, and it's through, and it's a good goal for Hartford Athletic. It's Connor McGlynn, the defender, coming up, and he slips it past Jordan Farr. And little slotted ball by Barrera. Honestly, a, a bit of a miss hit on the cross, but he's just wide open. No one's marking him. In between three SAFC players, just kind of ball watching, and I, I, I was shocked. I, was, I didn't realize he was at Hartford, and I mean, that guy is just a goal-scoring machine. Yeah, hoping oh, at 13 goals last year playing in Detroit City, 39 goals in his USL championship career. But as you mentioned, he's been on the bench. This is the third consecutive time Nobin Namazi has started. Oh, that's wonderful from Taddy Olawashi! Brilliant! Just stuck out the left foot, and the chip over the keeper, Joe Rice, and in, in the 15th minute, levels this match at one. Just dropped right on his stride. Gets out there before the keeper and just places it right in the front post. Tani Olawashi with his 10th goal in 12 matches since joining San Antonio FC. He makes the turn on PC. Well, good to have PC back in the starting 11 tonight. His leadership so vital. Prince AD has got a little bit of space, takes the shot as Jordan Farr rises to make the save. AD, five goals on the season. A club that can score, as we've seen here early. And Tani Olawashi just bounces off as he slips it to Nacho. And Nacho with his left is too strong on that first time and wide of goal. And it's either going to be a Zuhir shot or Hernandez cross. Zuhir, who did not miss by much. It's Jome sending one towards the back. Connor Maloney, low strike. Oh, beautifully done. Rita Zuhir cut back to the byline. Puts it back across. Oh, nearly phenomenal. Oh. Cuts back and cuts back, thinking he's going to take a shot. Gets to the goal line. What a clipped ball. And Hernandez, full bike, just happens to come off the outside instead of the inside of the post. Able to play out. Nicely done there by Ish Joan. Wins the ball. Jom gives it a go, just wide of goal. <laughs> Boy, everybody's feeling the back of the net here right now, I Hayden. Reflection I mean. <laughs> comes back into the midfield. Connor Maloney keeps it moving. Robin Lappert had it and then lost it and then back off to the races. Oh, no man's land for Joe Rice and Tani Olawashi makes a pay. The first half brace for Olawashi in the half hour and San Antonio FC's got a 2-1 lead. Once you see Rice hesitating, you're exactly right. Got caught in no man's land, and Oluwase just, he's committed. He's going to get on the end of it. Great finish. Joe Rice, he, he knows you can't be indecisive when you got Tani Oluwase running at you, and Oluwase has got one in the 15th and 30th minute. San Antonio FC's got a 2-1 advantage here. At a time, another 15 minutes remaining in the eventful-filled first 45 minutes here tonight. Switch the play in Rito's direction as Hartford trying to stretch San Antonio out. Sadie, Rito into the box. The turn from Barrera, top of the box here. Andre Lewis looking with his left. Oh, it gets the slip back and puts it in, and that is a good goal for Hartford, and it's the sneaky Jamaican Andre Lewis. In a match, but I mean, that is some beautiful football. Two one twos, great little slip ball, and good composure to put this in the back of the net. 
I mean, there was there was three or four passes inside the 18. Has the advantage at this point. Here's Sadi with some running room. Hopano stops overlapping Barrera. Hopano gives it a go. Hernandez nearly added his name to the score sheet with maybe the goal of the year. Had it not gone off the post. What a turn to here! Great save! Joe Rice as he comes up with his second big save here of the half. Stopping the chance right there in the box from Rita Zuhir. Go wide and then come back inside, but they're, they're combining really well tonight. The space, though, is ridiculous. And it again, Zuhir and Hernandez. It's Hernandez, a deflection, and another big-time save from Joe Rice. A little combination play from Zuhir. Great strike. Rice just gets down again. It's just not in the... 17-7. The shots for San Antonio. They had a season high 22 last week against Miami. They're not done. Another header on frame, and it's Rice to bring it down. It was a good run here from Sadie. With open back up. Andre Lewis, plenty of space. Lewis with the left just wide. <laughs> Jordan Farr. <laughs> from him. Hartford players still slow to get up. And now he does. Olawashe with a left driving it just wide. Sitting on a yellow for his next foul whistle. Bailoni will come off and Dylan will come off the bench. Right footed in swinger Rita Zhu here. Delivers this ball headed and it's in. Headed on the top of the box from Justin Dillon in San Antonio has pulled ahead with the opening goal in the second half. Really well done by Justin Dillon. Really just a redirection, didn't even leave the ground. Andre Lewis trying to save it off the line, but. Zoo here. Dillon knocks it down, it's loose, and it's Tanya Owashi with a hat trick. And a historic goal. He's pulled ahead of the Golden Boot race. And he is now the single season all-time scoring leader in San Antonio FC history. Hat trick of the season. A just great job by Justin Dillon and Olawashe there to finish. Looked like initially Tainter was going to get on the end of it, but it was just an awkward bounce and just happened to be at the right place at the right time. That's, that's the beauty of having a, a stadium on wheels, so to speak. This is a giveaway with Jorge Hernandez. Dangerous spot. Rice out of position. Hernandez digging him out to Dylan. Hassan and Olawashe nearly made it four. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But a scramble from the defense in the end and got, got that very fortunate final touch. Here in the 86th minute. Zoo here, trying to put it down. Slips a couple, drives it on, and a save from Joe Rice. And at the pace he's going at right now, he's sitting on 25 by the end of the regular season. <laughs> Four minutes of added time here at the end of the second half. And it's already gone down as one of the greatest seasons. And it's going to maybe be another. And Teddy Olawashe puts it a fourth. How about that? Teddy Olawashe held the night at Toyota Field, young fella. Four goals. And San Antonio FC on their way to victory. Picks off the pass. Good composure. Rifles went low and hard. And I just can't de deal with it. San Antonio FC. This was the kind of response as a club that they wanted. Particularly after being shut out after so many chances. Probably if the score is not 5-2, it's a penalty. <laughs> Tanny will be denied number five, but he will not be denied history tonight at Toyota Field, four goals, his third hat trick of the season.